Hi everyone. Uh, very warm welcome to this webinar on S4 HANA and Zoho Test Integration. My name is Shalindu. I'm a co-founder at Apsi Connect. Uh, Apsi Connect is a low code integration platform. So today's webinar is more on, you know, how uh, Zoho has become increasingly popular, not only in small uh, and mid-sized companies, but also large enterprise. And uh, in this webinar, we're going to explore, uh, you know, how you could accelerate your S4 HANA integration with Zoho using no code platform. I also have uh, Ganesh, uh, who is with me and uh, Hi Ganesh, how are you doing today? Hi Shailendu, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, Ganesh, to the audience? Okay. So, hello everyone. My name is Ganesh. I work at AppC Connect as integration specialist. And uh, usually I work with uh, integration platforms and connectivity with uh, other web applications like uh, Joho, WooCommerce, and many more applications. And usually I uh, like to listen to rock music and also like um, uh, playing sports, especially cricket. Yeah. OK, uh, Ganesh, you always uh, keep reading about the new technology, um, uh, you know, trends which are uh, in the market. So what are you reading the, about these days? Yeah, recently I have started uh, learning the AI and machine learning. Uh, so it will uh, help a lot for the integration part. Like that. Great to, great to learn that. So let me just put the structure for today's uh, webinar. So first is we are going to understand why S4 HANA and Zoho desk integration may be required at all. So we are going to discuss one of the scenarios which requires both this platform to be integrated. And then we are going to dwell upon, you know, different integration approaches. Uh, you could have custom uh, integration which requires a lot of, you know, changes to the, uh, you know, application, or you could use a no code integration uh, platform to accelerate this integration. So in this uh, webinar, we are going to design and, you know, demonstrate a process flow, which is basically an integration, um, integration um, uh, protocol which apps you can use. So we're going to design a process flow from, uh, you know, uh, from the process pro builder and we are going to demonstrate how it works at the end we are going to open the floor for a q a session so um let's talk about a company called quick foods incorporated which deals in let's say beverages and for them ensuring uptime of their equipment and machinery is super critical because it really impacts their operation right so to have this uh, streamlined, they have service technicians and they use the whole desk for their day to day operation. So if there's any uh, machinery with breakdown or there's a preventive maintenance that needs to be happening, they do it all within the hotel. The company uses S4 HANA, uh, which kind of stores the, uh, the master data and the accounting on the finances uh, for the company. Now, every time a new notification is created, a new service request is created, it needs to flow down to S S4, as well as if there's any financial transaction or spare part orders, that also need to be exchanged with S4 HANA. So in this uh, demonstration, we are going to, you know, uh, see how this can be quickly created using the no-code platform. So Ganesh, if you want to take this over and, you know, show us how the process flow works. Okay. So I'm going to show you uh, how it is configured. So here um, we, we design the process flow that will sync the tickets from Joho Desk to SAP. So uh, this process flow is looks like a flow chart. There are two kinds of uh, nodes here. One is application node and one is a mapper node. Application node is used to get the data uh, to the uh, from the application or push the data to the application. And the mapper node uh, is like uh, converts the data from one format to other format. Next, I would like to open one mapper node here. That is uh, a Joho Desk. Before you do mapper. that, Ganesh, I just probably just for the sake of audience understanding, uh, okay. I'll just describe this uh, process flow. So it's basically starting and it's getting all the uh, tickets which are created in Zoho Desk uh, in the first step. And then it converts it into a format that SAP understands. Now tickets are called notification in SAP. 
So once it is pushed to SAP, again, there's a mapper node which reads this notification information and updates Zoho with the notification number. So I start with Zoho, uh, you know, application pulling uh, data from Zoho desk, uh, getting all the non-synchronized tickets, mapping it into, uh, into uh, S4 HANA understandable format, pushing it into S4, getting the notification information, and updating the notification number on Zoho desk. So okay. yeah, Ganesh, so if you want to open up Zoho desk application uh, node and then maybe show us what goes inside it. Yes, uh, I'm going to open that uh, Zoho desk application node here. So uh, in this node, So uh, in this node, uh, there are many things here, but I primarily uh, talk about the few things uh, that is uh, node type. Uh, by using this node type, uh, we're getting this data by using uh, get node type. And uh, we are using this uh, uh, REST protocol here. And uh, uh, we are using the uh, filter part here. Like uh, if the uh, some SAP field or if the notification some field have doesn't have any value like SAP notification number. It uh, only fetches that records from the desk side. Yeah. So I'm closing this note here. Next, uh, let's go for the work process. For that, I'm going to Joho Desk and create one ticket here. I'm providing the contact name as Mr. Sarle Saron. And I'm going to give that a uh, submit here. Compressor not working. And I'm also going to give that a long description. So I'm going to save this ticket here. So as you can see here, uh, the ticket uh, uh, gets saved here and I'm going to sync this ticket um, to SAP. So usually the process flow uh, will run for the sh uh, defined schedule time. So as per the demonstration purpose, I'm going to run this process flow uh, manually so that we can uh, see how it works. I'm going to run this process flow. As you can see here, the process flow is started and the green arrow um, shows that uh, uh, how it is processing. So let us check in the Joho side. Process flow exhibition is completed. As you can see here, uh, SAP uh, notification is created in SAP and the SAP uh, sends the notification number as a response to this uh, SAP notification number field. Mm -hmm. So let's check this uh, notification number in SAP side. As you can see here, uh, the ticket is created and the subject also reflected and compressor not working and the contact person is Mr. Charlie Saron. Uh, uh, this is all about the integration. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Thanks, Ganesh, for that. Uh, now, we have a few questions coming in from the audience. Uh, the first question is that uh, can you sync uh, Zoho using AppSy Connect in a real time manner? I, uh, you referred that it needs to work on schedule. So, is real time integration possible with AppSy Connect? Yes, uh, like uh, other SaaS applications, uh, Joho also supports that web hooks. So uh, by using web hooks, uh, we can uh, sync the real time data uh, by using AppSy Connect. Yeah. OK, uh, I just want to add that when you're doing real time sync with uh, SaaS based application, you might want to also think about the API limit and consumption uh, limits. Because if, if you do a real time sync, it is basically one packet flowing down uh, for each integration. If you use scheduled 
uh, integration, you can actually pull in a bunch of uh, records and sync it together. But that is just a consideration uh, that you need to keep in mind. Second is that uh, how much training is required for uh, you know to be able to create process flow. So uh, it is very easy to create the process flows. Uh, just doing uh, the process flows look like a, a flow charts, and uh, we need to follow some integration steps. And um, so if you know that uh, uh, API structure from source and source application and target applications. So it is very easy to create the uh, process flows and also AppSy Connect to provide the uh, training sections uh, uh, for the process flows creation. Great. Just to add, uh, there's a six hour training which is provided by AppSy Connect to all its partners. And uh, this six hours is pretty um, comprehensive. You'd be able to get up and start uh, you know, creating a process flow within AppSy Connect, test it and do a lot of troubleshooting as well. So it's pretty easy to understand, you know, uh, creation of process flow. Uh, the next question, Ganesh, is that you support SaaS as well as on-premise application. Where does your software get installed? Is it on cloud or on-premise? So uh, actually do that uh, mapping in the uh, cloud and uh, that uh, AppSy Connect agent, uh, we can also uh, install either on-premise or uh, AppC Connect uh, Cloud. Yeah, great. So we provide both the uh, options. So you could have completely cloud-based solution or a hybrid um, installation where you do the mapping on cloud, but run it locally. So AppC Connect provide both hybrid and on cloud uh, options. Uh, Ganesh, there's another question on Zoho. How do you get the API details of Zoho? to start making integration calls. OK, uh, to uh, get that API details, there is some web, there is one website that is uh, api.consolejoho.com. So let me show that thing also. api.consolejoho.com. So uh, in that API console, I uh, will create this application. And in the uh, there is a client ID and client secret here. And all the details. Awesome. I think there are a few more questions coming up, Ganesh, but I think we can take them offline. Um, so uh, really, thanks for you know taking us through this uh, cycle. And uh, I hope that you know this was uh, useful for our audience. And uh, just as I said, if there are any follow up questions, please feel free to drop us on a note and we will get back to you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.